what a workout I got, what a workout. Now, the funny thing is, a lot of people were pretty cool with it, but I got some pretty bad looks from some people. Uh, not all, maybe three to five, eight. Maybe even more, maybe 10% of the people on the plane were really giving me nasty looks for uh, getting up and moving around. And a lot of the people who were giving me the bad looks were in terrible metabolic shape. So, I, I mean, I just found that fascinating, really. So, I'm not running this year, but once I'm over 35, maybe 2028, 20, who knows, we are going to make health insurance exactly like life insurance. All those people who were overweight, bad, metabolic health, giving me that smear, uh, sneer. Uh, they're smearing the cream cheese on their bagels, what they're doing. But now, uh, we're going to get people, it's going to be a whole different ball game. People who are fit will probably have zero healthcare costs at all. Like, I pay 300 a month. I should probably pay 30 and someone who's obese who pays 300 a month should probably pay 3,000. And if they can't afford it, then too bad. And no more of this going to the county hospital and just not paying. No, none of that at all. Things have gone too extreme. We went from 10% adult obesity in 1990 when I was born to 50%. Something drastic must be done. An obese hospital bed is, uh, I believe it's four times the cost of a normal one. So it's all just going to add up. People are living longer with these chronic illnesses and we just cannot afford to take care of them. So, you know, just back to Europe, uh, it's interesting, the Scandinavian countries, they have a very, uh, they're pretty egalitarian with their social safety net, but their social safety net, it does not screw the young and help the old. It was actually quite the opposite. They would take the oldest person in the town whenever resources were scarce and they would throw them out the adjective. And uh, I'm not I'm not saying that we should do that at all. But, uh, you know, if you're using up resources, you should feel some shame. You really should. And uh, I think we need to get I mean, I should have been probably applauded for doing the exercise and the people who were in bad metabolic health should. Uh, we should treat them like we if we should treat them like cigarette smokers. If someone lit up a pub a cigarette in this plane, that's how we should treat obese people. It's just my opinion. And uh, every randomized control trial ever that uses unstable isotope water, uh, you could predict calories in, calories out, and met, uh, weight gain and weight loss 100 percent accurately. If you're also tracking meat and all that, so. Yes, the whole Heisberg thing, nothing's perfect. Uh, metabolic chamber's not perfect because metabolic chamber's just like the plane. You're not allowed to move around. So that doesn't show too much. But unstable isotope water is really, really good. That's why it's $15,000 a bottle. It's unbelievable. You need someone good in IRB to put that in. But uh, I don't know. Just a little morning rant. Uh, not a rant, but uh, what we should do. This can not hold and it will not hold now maybe i'm a hypocrite you know i take medicare for obesity and so that's a hypocrisy so and if i was president i would take that away uh and they pay for it themselves and uh so we'll see it's gonna look really nasty in the first five years maybe in the first 10 years of it yeah uh, but over the course of 50 years things might get uh we might really start looking like a great nation. Now, also, we need to put a lot on the people who develop real estate. If you do not put sidewalks in, you are screwing over those residents and you should have to pay for some of their health care. I mean, that's the social, you know, there's the Brooks Pier part of it. So, I mean, I go back and forth, right? Which is why I think I'd be a good, uh, you know, idea for president. But I have gone and done home health with the, uh, people in terrible neighborhoods and it's just extreme obesity i say hey can we go walk outside let's go walk outside and there's there's pit bulls that will attack you outside it's it's truly unbelievable and so uh you know i don't agree with the idea of the uh food deserts though i can show you how to walk into any 7-eleven or any store like that and find foods that are 
high in protein and low in calorie, as long with uh, as well as high in fiber, along with being very voluminous. Now, I actually I think that's actually the most ironic part of it all is you can go to Whole Foods and buy macadamia nuts and buy the most fatty fish that you could ever imagine and pour uh, 2,000 calories of olive oil on it that's, uh, you know, the expensive olive oil and stuff and just get completely obese. And so I disagree 100% with the idea that Whole Foods or some garbage like that is healthier than Walmart because of ingredients or anything like that. It is all calories. So it is 100% calories protein has a satiation factor and so does fiber the average american eats 12 grams of fiber a day 12 the recommendation is 30 per 75 kilogram individual 12 grams of fiber is unbelievable and you know what all these uh carnivore people they're they're 98 percent correct they're so close and that yes uh get lean they, they eat fatty meat which i don't agree with as much uh, but uh, they're so close. But the whole knocking out fiber is the dumbest thing that almost anybody can do. Uh, so work with the nutritionist like me for uh, calories and macronutrients. Can you name the three macros? Protein, carbs, and fats. And the micronutrients and timing and uh, a very restrictive diet like anything under 1200 or uh, yeah 1200 you cannot go to a nutritionist you must go to a dietitian if you find a nutritionist giving someone an exact meal plan you can actually call the police on them or if you find someone uh, presenting themselves as a dietitian when they're not when they're only a nutritionist uh, they can go to jail for that as well so a nutritionist gives someone 800 calories that can serve jail time. You cannot give someone under 1,200 calories. But what's the caveat? People don't have any idea how many calories they're eating. People who say they eat 1,200 are often eating 4,000 plus. So it's interesting, right? So it's like when your uh, PT gives you homework and they know that you're only gonna do 20% of it, so they give you more homework. But in the field of dietetics and nutrition, it's just different. So little rant for today if i'm president we're gonna make a yeah and have a lot of people from the exercise physiology department being in the bureaucracy we'll slash most of bureaucracy but we will not slash the fda the fda is great we have uh, some of the best food safety in the world mcdonald's is not evil and uh it's just not uh we, we're extremely food safe uh people just over consume calories now there is economic factor to it uh, as well, especially with those neighborhoods and uh, meat becoming more expensive. But uh, I can fall on a budget pretty well. You just get protein powder, not the drinks. The drinks are four times as expensive, if not eight times as expensive than powder. You just get some protein powder, and then you could have that, you know, peanut butter for fats, and then Gatorade for. Uh, carbs you'll probably you're not gonna die you'll be fine and you'll it's like uh put eight dollars a day for food or six dollars a day so it is possible no one wants to live like that for a while uh i certainly won't do it did a little bit in college but we'll see but i will fix this problem because this is a problem that is bubbling uh it's 2024 watch this video in 2030 when we're 70 to 80 percent obese and see what the heck happens because when the message is it's not your fault i don't know i don't know we'll see we'll just see what happens so obviously the glp ones are going to play a huge part in this and um you know i think you should have to be able to prove in a metabolic chamber or with unstable isotope water that you are a people claim to be victims of mystical physics so if you can prove to scientists that you're a victim of mystical physics then your insurance company should pay for your glp1 but if not then you should pay for it out of your own pocket because gluttony is a sin and pride is also a sin to say that you're so proud that you're a victim of mystical physics it's 
it's beyond stupidity, really. And the whole Heisenberg thing, we can't we can't measure it perfectly, but we can measure it pretty well with the unstable isotope water. So, signing off, coming back to America, Spain. There's a whole another thing with the whole Spain and America thing. People say, oh, people are healthier in Spain because they don't have those preservatives in the food. BS. They have plenty of preservatives. So do we. Um, it's because they walk more. It is. They walk all the time. They walk like crazy. They even probably go to the gym a little bit less than us. Uh, so, they, and they eat less fast food. Ultra processed food is not evil, but if you let it become more than 80% of your diet, you're more prone to hypertension. And it is true that your leptin and ghrelin signals can change. The more percentage hyperpalatable food that you eat, you're going to be way out of whack with leptin and ghrelin, uh, which are the hunger hormones. So, hormones do matter, but you know they load the. I'm not going to say what it, they. There's a phrase. They load the blank, uh, and, and then the, uh, but the calories actually, you know, does the, the stuff. So, yeah. But how are you going to optimize your leptin and ghrelin signals? By buying someone's starter pack, some influencer, some you know, person who kind of physics? No. You're gonna exercise, you're gonna do aerobic exercise, and you're gonna do resistance exercise, and you're gonna eat well over 30 grams of fiber a day. If you're a girl, well over 100 grams of protein a day, probably a guy, 150 pro- grams of protein a day. And you need calorie awareness. Nobody scrupulously tracks. I, don't, I never write anything down, but I do check and see, and I'm aware. So, calorie awareness is what we'll focus on. Which has more calories? A donut or a Belgian waffle? Nobody gets this right. Everyone thinks the donut has more. A donut has 200. Belgian waffle has 500. You will never know unless you investigate. That does not mean you have to write it down. If you make you look at that once in your life, then you can probably remember it the rest of your life. So... Vote for Austin Martin Fitness for President 2028.